Hey folks, I'm HP and this is Dr. Pink and today I'm going to talk about the jackhammer rock technique <laughs> and this is how it sounds. We salute you! <laughs> Yeah, that's how it works. <laughs> so let's see how it um, is played. I don't think we need close you now from this today's tutorial because um, the principle is very easy. We have a, in this case, a um, a five power chord, and we're playing on the low three strings. Now the um, point is is uh, <coughs> sounds pretty easy. <coughs> Sorry, I'm a li I'm a bit sick today. I had a terrible struggle this week, so um, yeah, I already apologize for this, and this music is good to get back to energy. <laughs> yeah, um, again, um, the point is it's not very easy, uh, not very hard to play. It's just an E5 power chord. You play with damp technique, meaning hand is down here. Well, now comes the, the, the really, the part which is not so easy play plain eight so one and two and three and four and then you get this the jackhammer effect really bop, 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 like a jackhammer like that 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 the very short otherwise it, it will not groove if you're not totally on the beat and totally precise it will not groove believe me see that, 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 that. And I really would recommend that you work with, you don't see now, you work with your foot here and really count. So, one and two and, and, and really make hard dancers but remain in the damp position. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. Yeah, so first exercise with this. Then you pick up the tempo of the song, which is now pretty fast, and then go for it. Three, four. See how it and if I'm not totally precise on the beat, it will not groove. Yep. So that's the first basic technique of this. It's not so hard to play. You can just remain on one chord on the E5 and just now, if you want to make it sound more interesting and have some more accents, <coughs> what I sometimes do is um, when you're in the damp position here, one and two and three and four, and on the four end, I just remove the damp position and give it an extra kick. One and two and three and four and one, two and three and four. Yeah, and the last one was I, I played one on the four end and one end so it's pretty convenient that you count that you know where you are that you can set those accents where you want them as a one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four one and two see and now play fast and now suddenly it sounds, sounds great <laughs> oh man one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so the stuff looks easy, sounds easy, but believe me, when I first try to record like um, rhythm guitar like this, I, I already was a professional guitar player. And I was not, r I didn't really practice this. 
and I had my difficulties on that one to really get the proper jack hammer effect. Like that, 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 that. That's just all dramatic, like. Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> yeah. And that's really cool. Good. Um, next step would be um, you can move the chord here, you can make more sound. Instead of playing the four end here, you can move the chord up here. <coughs> and play here in the 5th or 7th, so... See, just instead of remaining here, you move up in the 5th on in the 7th. Also very cool. Two, three. So, now, if you're very precise, what I do, to make the total uh, wall of, I call it the wall of sound, a lot of delay, set on the quarter note of the song. This doubles up all what you play. If you're not totally precise, you end up in a total mess. You have to be very precise, very on this jackhammer thing, that, 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 that it repeats itself. And even the accents make that, 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 You will hear it now. Now comes the accent. Now you might have noticed when I was just playing the chord like this, you didn't you, you didn't hear the delays. Why not? Because I was precise on the quarter note, but it doubled the whole thing up and made the sound very fat. Otherwise, it's more behind. What I also did, I play the E5. Here is seven nine, and the D5 five seven here on the A and D string, and also the uh, G5 here in the ten twelve. Same again, put the accent there on the forehand, and then go. One, two, one, two, three, four. And I play the accent on the forehand, and then when I play two, I play it on the forehand and one end. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three. See, and that really that makes a difference. That me because you really go groovy and cool and stuff like that. Yeah, that's basically the uh, jackhammer technique. I call it this way because uh, that picture really helped me to get the effect which I wanted to have. So probably, if you've never seen one, is the one they have when they're building streets. And then you just do this, and then you're really cool. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, now we spice it up a little bit. Instead of playing the accent and four end, <coughs> we play two sixty notes there. So one and wait, switch of the delay. One and two and three and four. I got one and two and three and four. And this way you also spice it up. And one and two and three and four. And you play it on the low E string in this case. See? Cool.
Yeah. So that was, uh, in short words, the, the entire uh, jackhammer technique. I hope you liked it. And if you want to have a private lesson, all my websites can private lessons. Follow me on Instagram or Facebook. And if you like my stuff, Dr. Pink is hungry. We need a donation. <laughs> Yeah, so me and Dr. Pink are signing off.